In this lesson, we're going to take a look at positive externalities. We have costs and benefits for the vertical axis and quantity for the horizontal axis. When an individual or firm making a decision does not receive the full benefit of the decision, this is called the marginal private benefit. The marginal private benefit is downward sloping representing the demand curve. We also have a supply curve when we're talking about externalities and specifically for positive externalities the marginal private cost is going to equal the marginal social cost. The marginal social cost is equal to the private marginal cost plus any additional costs it creates. In other words, the marginal social cost is the total cost to society as a whole for producing one further unit or taking one further action in an economy. This intersection where marginal private cost meets marginal private benefit represents equilibrium quantity. When a positive externality exists in an unregulated market, the marginal benefit curve, the demand curve, of the individual making the decision is less than the marginal benefit to society. This represents the marginal social benefit curve. Consumers pay a lower price and consume less quantity than the socially efficient outcome. An example of this would be getting flu shots, getting immunization shots. And the socially efficient outcome is where marginal social benefit intersects with the marginal social cost. And we'll put this Q... SO representing the socially optimal level. But as you can see, the marginal social benefit of getting flu shots, getting immunization shots, is much greater than the private benefit of the individual getting those immunization shots. So because we have the social benefit higher than the private benefit, we have what is called a welfare loss because our benefits are greater than our costs. Benefits greater than costs. Benefits greater than costs. So this entire area represents inefficiencies and we call this welfare loss. Well, what can be done to correct this market failure, this inefficiency with this welfare loss? Well, the welfare can be gained by increasing the quantity of consumption. We want to have more people get flu shots, immunization shots. So what could the government do? And one way to increase the quantity consumed to the socially optimal level and eliminate this welfare loss is through a subsidy. So a subsidy is going to shift the supply curve, the marginal private cost to the right, and this is MPC plus subsidy. And our goal is once again to get closer to the socially optimal level and eliminate this welfare loss. Well, let's find our new intersection marginal private cost intersecting with the marginal private benefits. This represents our quantity, 
with the subsidy and as you can see we still have a gap between the marginal social benefits uh, with the private benefit but we are eliminating some deadweight loss so this entire area represents deadweight loss but this deadweight loss no longer exists with the subsidy so one way to correct a positive externality is subsidizing the market